Hi, I'm Judy Russell with SBR.TV and SBRForum.com. Here are some things to note as the NBA playoffs get underway on Saturday. In the East, the most competitive series is the Knicks and Celtics, where the Celtics are minus 345 to win the series. Both teams had some injury issues to key players down the stretch, but both also rested and got healthy in the last week of the season. The Knicks were overall a much better bet than the Celtics on the year, the Knicks being 46-34 ATS, while the Celtics were under 500 at 38-42. The Knicks were also particularly good against the spread on the road at 26-14. Boston also ended the year on a huge underrun, going 4-15 and 1 over-under in their last 20 games. In the Atlanta-Orlando series, Orlando is a minus 585 favourite to take the series, and the Hawks appear to be entering the postseason in bad shape, having ended the year losing six in a row straight up and five in a row against the spread, and with reports of bad chemistry in the locker room due to disruptive behaviour by star forward Josh Smith. However, Smith has called the playoffs a new season and may be coming in with a new attitude. Coach Larry Drew rested his starting squad down the stretch and the Hawks did win three out of four games against Orlando this year, as well as covering the spread in their one loss. The Magic were also not a good bet in general on the year at 35-46 ATS overall, so there are some signs that Atlanta may be more competitive than expected in their opening playoff series. Rounding out the East, the Bulls are a huge favourite over Indiana, and they were a great bet on the year at 49-31 ATS. They opened the series as an 11.5 point home favourite, but be careful, the Bulls were actually only 3-9 ATS as a double digit home favourite during the regular season. In the West, there are two competitive series, Dallas minus 187 over Portland and OKC minus 205 over Denver. All four teams were moderately good bets on the year. Dallas has not done well in the first round of the playoffs in recent years, but they may get some help this year with the home court edge. The home team won the game in all four meetings between Portland and Dallas this year. And Denver may have an extra hurdle against OKC on the injury front. They were hit with numerous injuries to key players at the end of the year. And while all the players are expected to suit up for Game 1, they may not all be at 100%. And that's a look at some notable factors for the opening round of the 2011 NBA playoffs. Good luck. For the latest sports news, picks and odds, check out sbrforum.com. And for the latest videos, check out our YouTube page at sbrdottv.